What's up guys, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make lyric videos for your music. So this could be a lyric video for your music, this could be a lyric video for someone you're working for, this could be a lyric video for your lyric video music channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you three different ways you can add lyrics to a music video. So first of all, the tool we're gonna to be using is called Veed. So we're just gonna head over to Google and type in Veed, V-E-E-D. Then once we've typed in Veed, we just click on the first link, which is create, edit, and share videos online. Now, if you don't already have an account, you're gonna to have to create a free account. If not, you just click on new project. And once we've clicked on new project, you're then gonna be asked to upload your video or audio. Now, there's three different ways you can do this. First of all, I'm just gonna start with the song. Let's just say we have an MP3 file that we want to create a lyric video to, right? Because that's mostly what's gonna happen. You're not already gonna have a video that you're gonna to wanna to add lyrics to. You're gonna have the song that you want to make a video around. So here, I'm just gonna click on the upload button, and then I go and find the song that I want to upload. So here, I have Justin Bieber's song, Intentions, downloaded. So I'm just going to open this up, and then Veed is going to import it into its project editor. Once it's finished uploading, we can see in the timeline that we have our song right here. So if I just click on it, as we can see, the song is three minutes and 33 seconds long. So if I just play it from the beginning, as we can see, it's Justin Bieber's song. So now to make a lyric video, all I'm going to do is head over to subtitles and I'm going to first add the actual lyrics on the screen. So the magic of Veed is actually the auto subtitle tool. So if I click on auto subtitles, it is then gonna detect all of the lyrics said in the song and turn those lyrics into actual subtitles that will appear on screen. So if I just select the language that the song is in, obviously Justin Bieber is speaking in English. So I just select English and I click on start. Now, depending on how long the song is, this can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes. So now it's finished, straight away we'll notice in the timeline that we have all the subtitles here, and then on the left we have the subtitle editor. So now if I just click over one of the subtitles, as we can see straight away, the subtitles are appearing on screen. Now first of all, for my video, I don't want the background to be black, and it depends on where I'm posting this, there's a bunch of different things you can change, but I'm just going to change the background to a bright pink color, and then I'm going to move my subtitles right here, because I'm planning on putting an audio waveform just above it afterwards. So the first thing you'll notice is the style of the subtitles. You won't like the style, so don't worry. We can go into the style tab and then we can change anything between the font, the size, the color, and then we also have a bunch of presets. And I like this white one here with the black drop shadow behind it. I think that looks really good. And then if we just play it back and listen to it. So first of all, another thing you're gonna notice is the fact that due to the fact that there's a song in the background at the same time that Justin Bieber is singing, Veed isn't going to be able to pick up every single word crystal clear. So for the first thing, instead of saying picture perfect, it said it's a perfect. But no worries, we can just go ahead and quickly change this in the subtitle editor. You can click on every single subtitle and quickly change them and they will appear on screen in real time. So now if I play it back, it should be correct. Picture perfect, you don't need no and that is perfect. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is add an audio waveform. So if I go into the elements tab and I have the sound wave, so I just click on sound wave right here, add a sound wave, and I'm just gonna add my favorite, which is the beam, and I'm gonna place it right about here, maybe bring the subtitles down a little bit. And then if I just click on play, and now I have my audio waveform with the lyrics. So I have a short video. Now this, I could post it, let's say to Instagram. Um, so I could keep it with the square size. If I did wanna go to YouTube, I could just change it to YouTube. And then I could have a, a bigger on-screen video for the people to read the lyrics. And what I can do is I can add images, change the background picture, things like that. So I'm just going to go into my images. And just for fun, let's say I add the Instagram logo. And let's just say this is a really pretty background. I can quickly click and drag there we go like this and then i just change it to the layer behind so everything's on front obviously this looks terrible but you get the idea and then once you're finished and you're happy with it you can just click on download now let's say you already have a music video and you just want to put lyrics at the bottom of that video this is what we can do again we're just going to click on new project and this time instead of clicking the upload video slash audio we're going to click on this little drop down arrow right here and select youtube and now what we're going to do is head over and grab the youtube video if it's a youtube video um, we're going to grab it straight from youtube or you can directly upload it but again we're going to be using justin bieber's intentions and then we're just going to click on import and then david will start importing the video and if we take a look in the top right once this progress bar has finished and the upload is finished we can then start adding the subtitles so now the upload is finished if we take a look Shall we? 
as we can see, I have the music video right here. And then if I go into the subtitles tab and again, click on auto subtitles, select the language and just click on start. Veed is again going to add subtitles to the video and this time we're going to place them at the bottom of the video to make it look a lot nicer. Okay, so now the lyrics are finished transcribing. So again, if we take a look, it's got the same mistakes as in the first one. So again, we can just quickly change this. I'm not going to do the whole song just to save time for this video. And this time I'm just going to go into the style and I'm going to make them a little bit smaller, right? So I'm going to change the font and just drag them down. Or what I can do is just resize them straight away like this and I want them to fit in this black bar at the bottom perfect so now Picture perfect you don't need no filter now I think that's perfect. And again, once I'm happy with it, I can just click download and then Veed is gonna start rendering the video in HD with the lyrics added to your video. And now the last way I wanna show you is just using some stock footage to add your lyrics on top of. So again, if I start a new project, I'm just gonna upload a video this time and this time we're gonna upload the actual stock footage. So it's nothing special, it's just a video of a drone hovering over the ocean. Now, because we already have the video, what I'm going to do is add the audio. And again, we're going to be using Justin Bieber's Intentions. So I'm just going to open this up and what I can do to make this a little bit different, let's say I wanted a very short video for my Instagram of my favorite lyrics from the song, right? So I'm just going to quickly resize this for Instagram just by clicking and dragging, very easy. So now I'm just going to go into the audio tab and I'm going to change the start time. I'm gonna trim the song. So I know that my favorite lyrics, I think start around about 10 seconds in. So I'm going to just leave it at eight, right? So if I put it back to the beginning now. Okay, I was a little bit wrong there, so I'm gonna move it up to 12. Let's see what happens. There we go. Now it starts straight away with picture perfect. And I do wanna display that you can add your subtitles or add your lyrics manually. So what I'm going to do is manually add my lyrics. So if I just play. So, the first lyric starts right here. So what I can do is leave this playhead right here and just click on the stopwatch. As we can see, the time code has now changed for this. And if I click play again, this one ends here. So I'm gonna click on the ending stopwatch. And again, the time code has changed for it. So now it's only gonna appear on screen for this amount of time. Okay, so that is perfect. Now I'm actually gonna change the text of it. So I'm gonna go picture perfect. And I wanna change the style. I'm going to change it to Arial Black right there. And I'm going to remove, actually I'm gonna remove the background and then just place it in the middle of my video. So now if I click play. Perfect, you don't need no Obviously I'm not gonna add all the lyrics manually, but I just wanna show you how it's done. And then once you're happy with it, of course, you just hit download and then Veed is gonna start rendering your video and you'll be able to download it and share it in HD. That being said, if you have any questions about lyric videos and how to make them, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.